Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Thoreau. If you are catching this by way of my main channel that I've just mentioned, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are catching this intro by way of any of my breakout channels, which are as follows, Marvelous Taurus Tribe, Marvelous Cancer Tribe, Marvelous Libra Tribe and Marvelous Capricorn Tribe. Thank you so much also for being here and checking out your video. I want to let you know, guys, since last week that I have tried to approach these readings this particular week that I'm mentioning, which is July 30th through August the 6th, several times. Um, I have a schedule of when I upload things and when I do things and I have a schedule of when I do everything else. Everything is on a schedule. And I am telling you that this week, nothing went the way that I wanted it to go in this block of time. Um, not only were we transitioning out of one month to another, um, there was a lot that went on this particular week. Um, I know that there were some squares. I'm not going to get into uh, too much astrology um, in the intro to keep it nice and short and sweet. Um, but we did in this time frame experience a full moon in Aquarius. And regardless, guys, of where that actually hit you, whether it was personal or whether it was in any of the other 12 houses, this was the week of hell. For me, it just was a week of individuals needing me and me experiencing a lot um, of just not necessarily anything going wrong per se, like wrong, just chaotic from one thing to the next, from information coming in to information going out. It was absolutely hectic. Um, <clears throat> so... A lot of activity, a lot of breakups, a lot of things happening from accidents um, to, um, you know, fights, um, just things that I've heard, people getting robbed, like random things. It was crazy. Um, you know, Uranus is one of those disruptor planets. Um, it shakes things out to the surface. It will disrupt. It will shake things up. And boy, it did not it did not disappoint. Um, there were a couple of things that went well. There was uh, like completely left blue, left blue out of the blue left field information that came in that I wasn't expecting. And more importantly, it was exhausting, if anything. So. I apologize for your messages being late. So we're going to treat this as a weekly energy reading recap from July 30th through July, August the 6th. There were only a few of you that actually got readings that was, you know, film that would that was recorded on time. But no matter which way I turned last week, there was always some block. It was extremely frustrating. Um, and sometimes it happens, you know, I'm not going to go to the community tab and put anything up unless it's a technical issue and we're up and running like last week. Um, there's, that's, that's, that's an, another thing. Sorry. I repeated that three times. That's another thing. There's been a lot of heat related internet issues and things of that nature, guys. And that was that's typically summer. Like if you've been following me for a while living in this desert, that's going to happen. Anybody that records weekly is going to happen. If that's all they do, like, you know, like if that's the only thing that they do, if just, it's just record and they live out here in this desert, they may fare a little bit better than I. Um, but it all it also, guys, is about, you know, where uh, they live and things of that nature, just like no two people in your city or town gets the same internet because it really depends on the infrastructure, you know, which really depends on how they're getting it. You know, I know that some parts of Las Vegas um, get get things and other parts of Las Vegas doesn't get things, meaning, you know, the infrastructure underground. And let's face it, it is Las Vegas if you are um, 
familiar with the way things work out here in the little desert. But needless to say, I'm going to experience that um, until the summer is over. Every summer I go through some type of connectivity issue. It's been a little bit better this year than in previous years since I moved, but it's definitely still a thing. Internet seems to be a little faster in this pocket of the town. Um, but needless to say, the heat does cause problems. The heat will fry things and I'll get off that, um, that moving horse, uh, that train. It's just been the week of hell. That's what I'm calling it. Um, I hope that doesn't offend anybody because that's how I'm going to approach it. Just because it wasn't necessarily about what happened to me. And it was basically all of my clients and people coming back, needing emergency readings and need, and, and, that, that didn't necessarily take me away, but I was just so exhausted dealing with my own full moon and Aquarius week. Whatever happened six months ago, finally coming to um, a full culmination, things that need to be ended, acknowledged or released. And boy, did it come. Um, I am told that August starts out one way and then it ends another way. So that is that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little intro. Um, like I try to do, especially when you do not see my hands, it has been um, a week for some of you. And if that is the type of week that you had, I apologize. Um, I want, you know, people, some people don't understand why I do intros. Um, and there's a lot of individuals who don't understand, you know, I don't understand. I've, I've had an individual, a couple of individuals that don't understand why um, I say something. Anybody that is not pro communication and pro transparency, when a person gives you advice or gives you an opinion of how they just wouldn't have said anything, that is an individual who is not evolved in their thinking because as a business owner, I don't owe anybody an explanation, but I owe you an explanation because I'm human. And if you can't humanize me and treat this this channel and all of my other vent business ventures as a machine, because I've gotten so used to trying to be on time and honoring when things are supposed to go up, then you're not thinking realistically. You're not because life happens and I am never going to pull the wool over anybody's eyes and make it seem like this is the young and the restless, you know, everything happens and in 30 minutes is all taken care of like a sitcom. That's not life. And if you can't appreciate that, then these intros may annoy you. And that means that I'm not the reader for you. Um, but everybody else, I like to be transparent and let you know what's going on. And some people definitely appreciate it. And I want your support. That's the reason why I tell you I'm not, I'm not, fishing for compliments or wanting to be put on a pedestal. I want to be treated like a human being who just happens to have a gift and run a channel and life happens. And that's exactly what happened last week. Um, and I like to touch in, check in with you guys and tell you what I'm noticing and see if your week was even better. And a lot of times I'll get a lot of feedback from the intros. You guys are hit me up via text or send me a email and be like, Marv, it was this, it was that. And I listen, I appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to go ahead and end this right here. I am going to be calling this the weekly energy re recap in each one of your readings. We're going to be covering July 30th through August the 6th. I'm going to tell you what could have happened in your energy for that week. And then you guys, uh, by the time you get this video, your a uh, full moon and Aquarius video would come up. That was actually done, but there was so many things going on. It just took so long to upload. It was ridiculous. So everything will be done. And your, your videos now, uh, the new week, which is going to be August the 6th through August the 13th. My intention is to have those up within the next couple of days. And hopefully, just hopefully, <clears throat> we will finally be on track and I can actually sit down and hopefully we're out of the woods and I can sit down and you guys can see the hands and we can chit chat and go back to normal. My most important thing is that there is not a week that goes by where you don't get something. Even if that week has passed, I'm going to do a recap. I'm going to do something. Um, I do not want gaps on my channel. Um, that is a very hard thing to accomplish, especially when you do weekly uploads. 
but that is my promise and my commitment to uh, this channel since I went to a weekly format and that's that. Everything you guys need will be below in the description box for you and your collective. Um, and if you, if you need anything, if you are looking for a personal reading or whatever it is, if it's not below, email me readings at marvelousmadam.com. Nine times out of ten, it will be below. Um, right now, for the uh, remaining of the summer, what what uh, products are available or what tarot readings um, are available for purchase, um, sessions, readings, appointments, whatever you want to call it, are the tarot text readings as well as the pre-recorded videos. We are not doing phone readings. We may resume that um, for the fall, um, but I'm still trying to figure that out. Needless to say, that's that. Hope this message, guys, finds you well and in good spirits, um, and I will see you guys in each one of your videos. Thank you guys for listening. Hello, guys, and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your weekly energy reading recap, carrying you through the energy of July 30th until today, August the 6th. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's called a recap because the energy has already passed. As outlined in the intro, um, I normally take this particular day to read forward energy. So that's that. For some of you guys, what has come out is the Six of Swords and the Empress. Um, Six of Swords, Acclaim, Success, Empress, the birth of something new. I did not call out for them, so they needed to come out for some of you guys. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens in your energy. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. Happy Leo season. Happy birthday if you are getting this, if you had a birthday between this time frame. All right, we got it. What do we got here, Spirit? We lead with Knight of Swords. Very popular card. Page of Pentacles and Justice. Okay. All right. Venus is uh, continuing to be in Leo, uh, your sign, which is now retro. We are in pre-shadow... Uh, Mercury is in Virgo, a lot going on, um, and then it is your season. There seems to be a very defensive energy this week um, that you could have experienced. We did experience in the, in the smack dab in the middle of this time frame an energy of a full moon in Aquarius three days before, three days after. Please go check that video out. By the time you get this upload, it will be available uh, for you. It is on the channel right now. Um, what I'm seeing is, is that the Knight of Swords comes in and yields the sword of truth and will come in with a, um, very aggressive, um, tone and demeanor and action where it comes across like it can really care less about who is on the other side of that sword. All that the focus is on is making sure that you know. I don't care anything about you in this moment. This is the message that I'm trying to convey. Um, with that being said, with that being said, I want to let you know that what is happening here is that there could, this could have translated in the way of some type of harsh communication for you, with you, that you were involved in. Um, you to them or them to you. Um, very short, you could have experienced some rudeness unless you are a Leo that especially, I mean, there was that, this was a week, this was a week for a lot of individuals. I, I started it in the intro. I think I referred to it as the week of hell. It was the first of many. I think we have a few more, or we've already definitely experienced, um, um, in the last eight months of this year. However, Right after that, you could have experienced someone still coming in with an apology or still offering you a commitment or, you know, offering you a gift or some type of peace offering. This peace offering will come to you at, or uh, could have come to you as a way to balance the scales because justice is here. All right. Past energy shows the moon. So 
you you could be dealing with a Pisces. There's just the up and down um, nature about the way this person loves and communicates. If you are dealing with a Pisces sun, their communication is in detriment. If they have Pisces in their Mercury, um, which typically a good majority of the of us do, where your sun is, your Mercury is very close. With that being said, there is an energy here of a four of wands anyway. So there is a need or an energy of romancing something and turning a blind eye to some energy that really needs to be dealt with. Um, there is a shallow sort of energy that's around that is basically like whenever we get into an argument, I am going to flatter you what's upsetting about this is that says a lot about the Leo that's involved in this energy because this person thinks that this is all they have to do and they can get you back and if you don't want to keep perpetuating the same behavior then you have to be strong enough not to have the attitude well if they given that I'm gonna take it because I know that is a lot of um, Leo uh, moves I know for a fact mentality and you got to stop you don't like a person's behavior when you guys have an argument and they go elsewhere and they want to come and give you a peace offering, you're going to take it. Then you are in turn just as responsible for keeping up the situation. Um, then you give yourself credit for it. So I'm going to tell you, if you want to stop, then you have to stop the habits and the behaviors as well. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. Very soon, decide what you want so that it comes to you. Now, we also have keep an open mind, which is in reverse. So that lets me know that upright, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And to you, your soulmate is not going to differ from your usual type and expectations. You are fixed fire. So your soulmate is going to be the same damn person that you've been um, attracting. And then you keep getting the same results, but you blame it on the people Instead of your discernment or changing the way that you look at something and fix fire does not want to do that. Next card is release your ex, which is exactly what you have to do. Just an FYI. And it is upright. Past romantic energies indicated that it was time to take back control of your life eons ago. And that did not get done. And then I see an energy of calling in your soulmate. So. Prayers, affirmations, and visuals, visualizations help keep you together. And what I am seeing is, is a individual who does not want to be alone, an individual who refuses to look at the fact that whoever they have attracted is not their soulmate. Yet, when these arguments occur, you push them out and let them come right back. And it's just the blind leading the blind here. So, you're calling in your soulmate, but remember, you're not accepting that your soulmate may be different. So you are more than likely who I'm speaking to, them to you or you to them, um, the type of individual who if it's different, you don't like it. And if it is, it's a very shallow thinking, unfortunately. So, you know, take it as it resonates because nothing goes outside of the shallowness of, you know, these images that you see very body and health conscious about how you want these people to look. There's nothing wrong with having preferences and wanting your person to be, you know, on those dating apps when you see a guy says, athletic bill. For what though? Now they're obsessed with, being, with, with how they look and being athletic and all of that, which is fantastic. And then what? It's just not meant to last. L know yourself first. Stop putting the burden the proof on the other person when really this is a reflection of what you want to be seen with because this is just how you want the the, the image you want to uphold an image basically is what i'm seeing and if that doesn't resonate with you somebody is coming back the issues still keep going round and round and round no one's doing anything about it when i'm looking at the top of the deck and the main energy we're looking at five of cups and the romantic um, cards are showing us uh, passion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. So somebody is allowing a person to come back. Every time they leave, you call them back in. You're not happy, but you just either you don't want to be alone or you just like the chaosness of it. I've spoken to a lot of Leos and they don't like the way they are. That dramatic word that has such um, connotations. 
um, of like that you just don't like the way it sounds. Uh uh-uh, uh, that ain't me and blah blah blah. But in this particular reading, it definitely is because the more someone leaves, the more you call them back in. You go up and down and you are in turn desiring justice, but perpetuating and and adding to the exact same problem of how it exists to begin with. So I don't know what that is if it isn't drama. That is drama. And a lot of the times we say we don't want the drama, but we don't take a look at ourselves when we are adding to it. And Fixed Fire is no different. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra, a combination of the two. Or you are a Leo that has these type of energies in your chart. A perpetuation of the same old thing is here. Uh, several red flags, but unfortunately, um, not enough doing anything about the very thing that upsets you. Um, like, share, subscribe to the Marvel.